Good morning, John. It's Monday, maybe? I don't know. But I gotta make this video because people discovered a very important thing. Now, this is so typical. Like you have to think about the world and you're like, I'm gonna try to explain this with my big monkey brain and I'm gonna think about all of my anchors and it's gonna be about income or it's gonna be about the number of the things. I even tweeted about this to see if there was like something like this that someone would point out and no one pointed it out when I tweeted about it. But like, it's Twitter. People aren't paying a lot of attention. You make a video about it, people are more engaged. They're more connected to the content. And immediately people are like, Hank, you forgot about judo. So yeah, I forgot about judo. It turns out there are more bronze medals in total awarded because there are several sports for which two bronze medals per event are awarded. Because if you look at all of the Olympic games, there are always going to be more bronze medals than gold and silver because they award more bronze medals. So maybe the fact that Europe has more bronze is simply due to the fact that more bronze medals are awarded. And so, let me introduce you to sheets! We're doing some sheets on Vlogbrothers! There were 329, 330, and 385 uh, medals awarded. 329, 330. I don't know why there were more silver than gold, but I'm sure there was a reason. 385. Silver. Nope. Gold, silver, and bronze. And we're gonna multiply, add all these together to get the total sum of these. Uh, it's gonna look like this, so that's gonna look like that. And then, how what are we? How are we gonna use this information to normalize? I don't know. Maybe you didn't even need to do that. Yeah, this is all I need to do. I need to say, okay, this equals this divided by this. Is that all I have to do? There's got to be. What's the number I need? I need. That's the proportion of gold medals. I don't know that that helps me though. This is how it goes in the green household. You've forgotten all of your statistics knowledge, and you just pounding through it. No, 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 no. This is what I need to do. I need to I need this to equal this divided by this and that. Okay, great. Yes, that's what I need. And then that's going to this is now the normalized data. Just popping in to explain what I did. I create I calculated the number of silver medals won by Europe per silver medal available, P number of gold medals won by Europe per gold medal available, number of bronze medals won by Europe per bronze medal available, which normalized it to the total number of medals available. I didn't explain that when I recorded the video. I'm explaining it now. Back to the video. And then we're gonna do the graph again and we're gonna see if the effect has completely disappeared. So I've got the original graph over here. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna add the year so that it knows what we're doing. And then we're gonna do insert chart. Insert chart. Oh boy, oh no, oh no, oh no. The effect disappeared. I mean, isn't this the way? Isn't this the way you don't know one stupid little thing? Should I take the video down? Oh my God. Oh, the effect just goes away. Now, now this, it doesn't make the effect for China go away. For the China medals, there's like a huge thing there, but the Europe thing just goes away. Like there's no, there's no statistical significance in that graph, you guys. I can tell by looking at it. Now to preempt a bunch of you, you're gonna say, Hank, you're normalizing every year to one year's medal counts. And I know, I know. I've looked it up. The proportion is roughly the same since 2004 and I'm not gonna do all that work. Well, we're learning one day at a time. But look, I didn't say I knew why this effect existed. I said that I knew it existed. It's just that it is explained by a mathematical thing, not a cultural human thing. And so thank you to everyone for pointing out why this is. And that's kind of nice. We actually get a real solid answer. Continental Europe gets more bronze medals probably almost entirely because there are more bronze medals available. John, I'll see you tomorrow.